Hello, um, I'm George from Ireland, and this is going to, uh, going to go on my British Poesy channel. So this is a um, short poem by Hilaire Belloc, um, whose house I was outside um, the other day. Um, anyway, and this one is particularly uh, apropos, given what we're suffering at the moment. That's enough ado. The Microbe by Hilaire Belloc The microbe is so very small, you cannot make him out at all. But many sanguine people hope to see him through a microscope. His jointed tongue that lies beneath a hundred curious rows of teeth, his seven tufted tails with lots of lovely pink and purple spots, on each of which a pattern stands composed of forty separate bands, his eyebrows of a tender green, and all these who have never yet been seen. But scientists who ought to know assure us that they must be so. Oh, let us never, never doubt what nobody is sure about. So there's a bit of scepticism about science. It's uh, aphoristic, this uh, sonnet. Um, anyway, so I shall go over it. I remember what Mark Twain said about humour. It can be dissected, but it tends to die. Well, um, it's like a frog. Forgive me, that was his analogy. But the same could also be equally applicable to, to poesy. Um, so talking about the microbe and his capitalised microbe, it is very small. You can never make it out at all. But many sanguine people, so they're optimistic and energetic, I hope to see him through the microscope. When was he writing this? He died in the 1950s. He's born in the 1870s. I've got it right. So I'm not sure when he composed this. At certain times, I'm not quite sure how powerful microscopes were. Were they able to see these things? Certainly living cells could be seen since the uh, 17th century because Robert Boyle had a laboratory on the site of my college. And back then in the 17th century, he saw the very first living cell. But are microbes smaller than that? Probably a lot. Shows what I know. I'm no scientist. Um, I know how babies are made. Um, anyway, it's something I'd, I'm happy to try the practical on that one. Um, to see his jointed tongue, which lies beneath a um, hundred rows of curious teeth. Okay, why are they curious? They want to bite into pe bite into people. Now, what is the difference between a bacterium and a microbe? I'm not sure. I thought they're the same thing. They use interchangeably. So they bite into us. Is that the idea? Because they spread disease. His seven tufted tails with lots. So here he's getting fanciful and just making up things because presumably he doesn't believe all the things that um, uh, biologists are telling us. Can we say a microbiologist? Does such a subspecialism exist? I know not. Of lovely pink and purple spots um, on which he, on each of which a pattern stands composed of 40 separate bands. OK, so getting into some particulars, he's letting his imagination run wild with these zany colour scheme. His eyebrows of a tender green, so he's personifying the microbe. Um, and all these have never yet been seen, but scientists who ought to know assure us that it must be so. Well, they do ought to know, but he's obviously dubious as to their expertise. Assure us that this must be so. Oh, let us never, never doubt what nobody is sure about. Saying it is nobody's sure, and of course it's sort of heresy to dispute this. But um, I, I simply, I suppose, it's an article of faith of me. Maybe I, I just place my trust in these biologists, assume that they know that they know what they're talking about. Don't investigate it myself. Do your own research. Well, I'm not capable of doing so. I don't have a laboratory, and I don't have the cognitive skills or the academic ability in that field. So I just leave it up to them. But uh, anyway, he's taking a light-hearted swing at the scientific establishment because he was very much a humanities chap. Should I pronounce the name Hilaire Belloc? Because he's French, of course. It's a silent H. H is never pronounced in French, as I often tell my pupils. So that's why some of my French people said I had had great trouble pronouncing the H sound, like hello. Rather than say hello, I've told them and say, you've got to breathe out, feel it out. You know, have a piece of paper in front of you, or on your hand, you'll feel the breath. All right, that's enough um, twaddle from me. Toodaloo.